Okay, I'm Ben. I'm Callie. And we're starting. Do you don't have a name? (laughs) (laughs) That was Emily. (laughs) Emily doesn't like to use her name in an introduction, apparently. (laughs) Once upon a time, there lived a really poor boy called Hans. The screen share disappeared for me. Yeah, same. Uh Edit that out. Hans was down- downhearted. He wanted to be an adult. Wait, so are we supposed to be seeing something? Yes. Um, I'm just I... continuing oh. without you for now. Okay. Oh, uh, do I need to click something? What if... He wanted to explore faraway places, find treasures, and visit lavish castles. Fancy boy. So you're the narrator, then. And could possibly end up being everyone if we can't see it. However, as his father had left to fight the war, Hans had to stay at home, and I didn't get through it. (laughs) But today, Hans was really happy. It was his 10th birthday. Yay. Good for him. Yes. Mom, I'm back. Do you know what day it is today? Ben, you're my mother. (laughs) Of course I know. You're ten years old today. Happy birthday. She's so cute. I know. Yeah! Have you bought me any presents? Maybe a toy? Hans, my dear, you know we have almost no money since your dad went to war. But mom, it's my B-Day. I got you a dust bunny. Do we have any sweets to eat? I'm sorry. Our house is so sad and gray. (laughs) There's nothing special. I got you a dust bunny, but I had to sell it so so I could afford gruel. Come on. Help me set the table. (laughs) That is such an upset (laughs) face. Yeah, that is like the frown I do when I'm trying to be silly sad. This this is basically you. (laughs) This is me. (laughs) Well, enough's enough. All kids in the village have presents and sweets for their birthday. They even throw parties. Hans, we could throw a dust party. I'm sick of this house. I'm sick of not having toys. I'm sick of being poor as a church mouse and sleeping in that desk drawer. (laughs) (laughs) I was trying to think of a good place for him to sleep because I realize there's only one bed and I'm pretty sure that's probably his mom's. I mean, he probably sleeps (laughs) under the bed. I'm sick of sleeping under the bed. I'm not your little dust bunny anymore. I understand now why dad isn't coming back. Because there's not enough room for him to sleep. (laughs) (laughs) He doesn't want to sleep in the desk either. You can sleep in the uh, broom pail instead. No! Or the basin where we do the dishes. Where are you going? I'm leaving. I've just turned 10. I'm a grown man. I'm going to become a Pokemon trainer. (laughs) Hans, please. I know people often think that 10 was the age of adulthood in the Middle Ages, but it's not really true. I'm going in search of fortune, and I'm not ever coming back. I'll be an explorer. Or even better, I'll be a prince in a castle. Goodbye. I'm going to be the very best. Like no one ever wants. There goes, singing into the distance. Well, will you at least write? Woof, woof. There's a doggo. It's swigging its pixelated tail. <laughs> Hans, wait. Are you really leaving? You're still too young. You may think you're a grown-up, but you're only ten. Besides, life is really hard outside. And the woods can be really dangerous for you. I don't care. I'm really strong, and I've been alone in the woods many times. At least three. 
you're really leaving, at least just let me do what I can to help you. I've got some things for you. I don't need the running shoes. <laughs> it's dangerous to go alone. <laughs> I don't need your help. This cane belonged to my father, your grandpa, and has great sentimental value to me. I'm sure it'll help you in your journey. You've got a cane. You've got cane. This is all the money we got left. Take it and spend it wisely. Oh. You've got three gold coins. It's what I got by sa by saving all the money from selling dust bunnies in the marketplace. <laughs> You're the dust bunny weaver woman. Oh. Finally, this is all we had to eat. Eat your dust gruel slowly. <laughs> it will last longer. Though you won't want it to. Right. <laughs> You've got some dust gruel. Yes. And this is it. I can't give you anything else. I need the dust accumulation to survive on my own, after all. Hans, please don't go off the road. Be a good boy. And remember, I'll be here if you want to come back. To interact with things, I have to be next to them and use E. <laughs> He's just saying that to himself. Pet the dog. <laughs> Pet the dog. Spittle, I can't play with you anymore. <laughs> That's the dog's name. I go on adventures just like Dad did. I might not be coming back for a long time. In fact, I may never come back. Hey, but where's your bone? It has to be around here. We've got a new quest. Find Yay. dog's phone. Well, <laughs> I guess we gave up. But what am I doing? Now that I'm old, I can't play with the swing anymore. There's a chick, I think. Some kind it's, of bird, anyway. It looks more like a cockatiel, but that would not be geographically correct if we're in Europe. Huh. I think Spittle needs his bone. If I don't give it to him, he'll follow me. And uh, maybe of... it's an es escape from like a exotic menagerie. <laughs> Could be. I kind of like it's... that swing though. It's just like you say you're going to leave home forever and then you just stop to swing for a bit, you know. Yeah. Oh, was that the bone That's on the, the bone. barrel there? That's Spittle's bone. He's slowly becoming British. You've got a bone. He's probably German, wouldn't you think? If his yes, if his name's Hans and he lives yeah. in Sweden. or Scandinavian, but it looks more German. It seems he wants his bone. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not starting with that. <laughs> Give him the bone. I should open my inventory with I and decrepit. it. No, he's just <laughs> now he's Arnold Schwarzenegger because he's a man now. I can also change fast between the most important items. He turned With 10 and he became... Why? <laughs> he, be 10. he turns 10 and became Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> uh, what more can you ask for in life? <laughs> there you go, Spittle. That's your boy. <laughs> this is just this child's uh, voice now. Forever. Yes, I, I, I don't know if I can change it back. I liked the other voice as a character voice, but now he's Arnold Schwarzenegger and he's better. <laughs> I have to go now. Take care of mom and don't go away. I won't be back. <laughs> Maybe he's just putting the voice on. <laughs> can you interact with the cockatiel? It is on top of the house. I cannot climb up there. <laughs> oh. You're just gonna keep your little eyes over the roof line like some kind of creeper, though. <laughs> I'm happy I don't have to fetch water from this darned well anymore. Hasta la vista, baby. Well, maybe the well's glad that you don't have to. That it doesn't have to deal with you. Yeah, really. He doesn't take the well's point of view into account. There's an X on a tree. I think I'm taking what I've hidden in the tree hollow. You've got three chestnuts. 
So this this boy spends five minutes outside his house and becomes Arnold Schwarzenegger. I think that's the moral of the story. I, mean, I, I don't know if we're close to the end of the game yet, but this has already been a big change. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure that's what the developers were going for, exactly. Exactly! Yeah. Because yeah. They knew that you would immediately see him become an Arnold Schwarzenegger type man mm. in your playthrough. But oh. And Burroughs, they don't like you. Oh. No. They fear us and our hulking muscles. <laughs> Actually, his arms look kind of like spaghetti. Not gonna lie. There's a role playing game called Bunnies and Burroughs. What's it about? You play as a rabbit. Do you get to customize your rabbit? Yeah. <gasps> I need to look at this. Yeah, and so like it's a paper role playing game. It's like Dungeons and Dragons. Ah. Uh, I think uh, the name is even a reference to Dungeons and Dragons. Probably. The Hangman's Woods. This is the end of the world. I cannot go <laughs> further. Yeah, just I thought you might be able to, but have to but you stay are, on you're the in path, I guess. You are in Germany on the uh, on the to the east is Poland. You can't go there. The king of Poland would get mad. North or west? Hmm, I, I feel oh, like... Let's see, north would be Denmark and west would be France. Well, I had that weird dream the other night about me, like, having, like, within my neighborhood, the entire countries of Sweden and Denmark. Oh. Like, that was just my neighbor's house, had the window into the... These places. It was kind of like a Vatican City situation where it was inside of yeah. the United States, like how Vatican City is inside of Italy. Hello, young one. Oh, God. <laughs> what are you doing here alone? The woods can be really dangerous for a kid. <laughs> I should know. I, I cook and eat children. I'm one of the resident dangers. I'm a grown man, lady. <laughs> I'm 10 years old, and my name is Arnold Hans Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I see you're a man indeed. Perhaps I won't eat you. Perhaps you can help me then. <laughs> What's wrong? I was on my way to the market in the village to sell this pig, which was formerly his another child. And make some money. But my cane was stuck in some rocks and it broke. I need that support to walk, so I don't know what I will do when night falls. Won't you have, by chance, something to help me keep the going? I could hand her the cane Mom gave me, but she told me it was my grandpa's. To give her the cane, I should take it from my backpack and show it to her. Also, I like how he's apparently just saying this out loud. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing to indicate that it was, you know, just thoughts. Thoughts, right? Yeah. Should we that give pig her... is so cute. Should we give her the cane then? Uh, or not so much? Tricky. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, this is tricky. This is Grandpa's cane. Why don't we look around and see if there's not something else we could find that would suffice? Okay. What happens if we talk to the pig? Uh oh. There are flies around. Pigs are a little bit nasty. <laughs> I, I think you're a little bit nasty, Hans. That's awfully judgmental of you. Yeah. <gasps> what is that? Is that deer? Uh, oh, we scared it. Bambi. Oh. She broke the cane, I guess. Is there a way to fix the cane? I like that crow up there. He's cool. Ah, ah. Oh, it's a raven. I'm sorry. I don't like ravens at all. Mom says they bring bad luck. Only if you're mean to them. They remember. All right, well. Mm, looks looks like... like there's not anything. Yeah. Well, so much for that effort. I think we probably. Have I don't know. I, I'm just thinking like fairy tales. 
it's always like if you're nice to the stranger of course this is like a twisted fairy tale so maybe it'll subvert the tropes but usually if you're nice to the stranger everything turns out good and if you're mean to the stranger you're transformed into a toad or something well being a toad might not be all as bad as it might sound at first uh yeah you know, there's plenty of flies over there? there yeah let's look for some fancy stuff what's yeah good eye ben dead tree gave us a candle thank You've you got tree a candle the tree looks a little bit like it wants to hug us. There's a note here. After several days of search, I think I'm in the right area. The entrance should be in this part of the woods. Signed by J.F. Kennedy? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Uh, really? John F. Kennedy has been to this forest. I mean, you're in the middle of the woods. You should be able to just find a branch and be able to use it as a walking stick. That was my brilliant idea, but apparently the game devs didn't like it. Can I just, like, upend that sign and use the stake from, th from that? I mean, come on. Can you interact with the sign? No, we could just read it. Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I know it's, like, the first quest and something that's like, oh, look, here's this easy thing to do, but it feels like a trap somehow. Especially because that tree up at the top looks like there's an evil woman's face on it. Wait, what? Wait, go I up. That. Do you see it right there? Stop, 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 stop. Do you see the eyes and the nose and the little smirk? I do not. I the guess. Upper part of the tree? I, it, I guess so. Look up towards where the tree diverges into those two main parts by the branches. To the right? Yeah, it's on the right side of the tree. There's the two dark spots that are the eyes. And then that wider area is the nose, and then there's a little darker smirk underneath. I don't know. That's it's matrixing. I know it is. But, but it has huggy arms. But she's gonna get you. I don't know. So you can't yeah. interact okay, with the Okay, give it, give it to Grandma. I don't okay. want Grandma to die out here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you go, lady. Please use this cane here. You've given the old woman the cane. Oh, thanks a lot. Your mother should be proud of such a good son. Come on, you darn slacker. Move your ass. Wait. <gasps> Goodbye, son. I do hope we move again really soon so I can return the favor. You nasty old woman. You scared that little piggy. Why did I give you that cane? I wanted the pig to move its donkey. My <laughs> pig has a donkey. That's strange and unusual. All right, I don't know whether we should take the upper path or a low there was a lower path down there. The one that went west? Yeah, by the bunnies. Yeah, why don't we go that way? Let's follow the old lady. And apparently, there's a entrance to something. The bunnies are bad. <laughs> yeah, I loved Ben's timing on that. This is the path to the village, but it's really boring. I'd rather go on adventures. Okay, so it was a false choice. Yes. Okay, false alarm, people. Sorry about that. <laughs> no actual choices here. <laughs> I wish I could at least pick up her broken cane. Yeah, like, I don't know, MacGyver it into something useful. Yeah, or, you know, since he's 10, you know, it might be a suitable size for him. Right. Ooh, is that a fruit? It's an apple tree. Yeah, can we climb? I know, the... I know my pixelated art. <laughs> uh, the fence does not seem climbable. This kid has no upper body strength. Nope. Maybe if we had a cane, we oh could... god, that hungry, hungry donko! Hey, it's the pig's donkey. Donkey's super hungry. 
Hey, Mr. Donkey, where do you come from? You look very hungry. Don't Feed that donkey an apple. Go get that apple for the donkey. I'm going. He's just starving. Oh, there we can go in. Is that a squirrel? Yeah. It is a squirrel. Can we talk to the squirrel also? They'll probably run away. Those oh. apples look delicious. If I keep them, I could regain strength later. You've got an apple. There's two apples. So we can, we can have one for us and one for Mr. Gonko. Mr. Donko. That's his name. Okay. <laughs> I have decided. Yep. Oh, sorry, Ben. You can't pet squirrels. Uh, I know you just want to pet everything. Okay, nothing over here. I was thinking of the donkey as Eeyore. He's, he's a little bit Eeyore-like. Don't worry about me. We could give him the cheese, that's an option, but I think he'll like the apple better. Yeah. I mean... There you go, Mr. Donko. Eat this apple I've got here. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's a little heart. Aww. Yes, he loves us. I guess I guess a better donkey noise would be like, oh, hee haw, hee haw. I think he likes apples. The cursed gorge. That, that sounds, sounds fun. Safe. safe, yeah. I know, it's like everything everything's named such, you know, nice, peaceful names. Mm. Also There's the, the way raven. That raven was following us was upsetting me. Oh, this hiker boy. Oh, what will become of me? Hey, are you all right? Help, please help. I've lost everything. All the wares I carried for my lord. Even my donkey has gone away. What will become of me? I've seen the donkey down the road. He'll be just scared. Oh, my master will punish me anyway. He'll lash me 100 times for not bringing the wares. Perhaps you could strap them to the donkey and resume your journey. You're not hurt, are you? You're a smart kid, but that won't help much. Unless I bring my master some money to make up for the wagon, he'll punish me hard. You're just a kid. I guess you won't spare some coins, will you? Yeah, let's just go all in for the altruism here. I could yeah. give him my body. But mom told me not to waste it. So He's crying. Give him the money. Yeah, we're gonna go home anyways. <laughs> Just reminds me. Anyway. I could give you a coin. I'll take two. Thanks. Your greedy little... <laughs> eh. No, I wanted to give you one coin. Give me the other one back. All right, kid. Don't play the rat here, will you? I'll make it up to you another time, buddy. He's still crying. I mean, I don't think that would be... Load soul? Wait, what? Can we set fire? This is load soul. I, I, I'm amazed. Huh. It appears that he took two of our coins, and he won't give the other one back. Because we now only have one coin, and we had three before. Yeah. Set him on fire with the candle. Maybe that'll help. Oh, <laughs> Do you want to try? I mean, I'm not morally opposed to it, but that's for free the go to you. Can we talk to the cute goat? Such a cute goat. <laughs> What else do we have again? Oh, yeah, set we also have fire chestnuts. to the man! No, we, we're not going to be able to set fire to the man, but I just... Can you set fire to the wagon? Try setting fire to the wagon. Or the boxes. I don't know. What Everything good would that... Buns. Would that do any good? No. I can't... It won't do any good. I don't think I can interact with the wagon. 
I don't think it's for setting fire to things. I think it's for lighting an area up. Yeah. So we can set the man on fire without hurting him? Oh, poor me. This kid has a candle. <laughs> he stole any coin, but there's nothing I can do. Perhaps I should go my way. Oh, poor I'll me. The back. light in my eyes was too bright. Yeah, I mean, they do kind of have beady black eyes. <laughs> Follow the goat. Bleh. There's a sign. Read the sign. There's a slender man drawing. All those above 15 shall report to the nearest gendarmerie at once. Am I in France now? <laughs> oh, oh do you need to do a French accent now instead? Is he going to transform repeatedly? Is that what I'm learning now? I see. Can I have some of your weed traveling shepherd boy? Or just like your cane to replace the one that I gave away? <laughs> hey, Kido, what you doing? I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> what will Never you do mind. instead? Do you want to read can him we, instead? Or... Can, can we pronounce that name as Gothard? Sure. Instead of Goth Gothard. <laughs> hey, kiddo, what are you doing in the top of the mountain? I'm going in search of fortune. That's nice. I'm blowing smoke in your face. Thank you for the cancer. <laughs> Blimey, that's a big idea. Tell me if you find anything interesting. Ha 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 ha. Are you taking care of these goats? No, I'm giving them cancer too. <laughs> <laughs> me goats take care of themselves. Spend the day smoking and playing the flute. But hey, ain't your parents worried about you? I guess he has some sort of accent, but I'm not sure which one. I don't think so. Besides, my dad went to war. Oh, that's bad. Why? I hated him. <laughs> I finally get the place under the bed. I finally have earned the right to sleep <laughs> under the bed. Instead, instead of in the inside of the No, instead of inside of the cauldron oh. with the boiling gruel. <laughs> She offered you the bucket next to the mop. It is too small. It was only for me when I was a baby. Well, let's say they force you to go to war. Don't know anybody who chose to go. So it ain't a great place. Oh. And your mom, ain't she looking for you? I don't care. I'm angry with her. She tried to give me dust bunnies for breakfast again, but at least she gave me some food for the journey that was not made of dust. Dust gruel? Ouch! Are you alright? You mentioned food and me belly ached. Been all day with me goats and forgot to bring something to eat. Took, to took tobacco and wine, but forgot the most important thing. Ha, ha, ha. I think you must enroll into Alcoholics Anonymous or something. You sound like <laughs> you have a lot of abuse problems with substances. Oh. Can I steal his cane? That's what I was trying to do. Oh. But, Can no. you talk to his goats? This goat <laughs> seems to be the leader of the herd. I must oh. ingratiate myself within the ranks. <laughs> Become a goat. <laughs> ah. So I guess ah. This I wonder if the little one or the brown one are different. Yeah, it's like a little brown goat. I like the brown goat. So it seems like to be hinting that we should also give away our cheese, which uh, would be like the last of the things that we got. This reminds me of like uh, that fable about, I don't know, the guy who just kept giving stuff away. I don't know. I don't remember it that yeah. well anymore. <laughs> Can we talk to the other goats? Nope. 
Not even the brown one? Nope. I feel less sympathy for this guy because he's just, like, blowing around smoke everywhere. And I'm asthmatic, so that makes me kind of prejudiced against him a little bit. And the and fact like, that he's giving the goats cancer is not good. Um, and, and, like, he had food, but he just forgot to bring it. It's So we've been altruistic so far. Should we just ignore this guy? I mean, if he was vaping, maybe we would feed him. <laughs> Could we give him some of those chestnuts? I don't know. We can we give try. Him a lower... Yeah, just give him a nut. A single chestnut. Here you go. I know, he like might you. steal too. I've got this chestnut. You can have it if you want. Couldn't do much with a chestnut. Thank you, anywho. Well, you're lost then. I mean, Not I've really. tried smoking yeah. chestnuts, but it didn't really do anything. <laughs> Does he want to smoke the cheese? Oh god! No, smoke cheese is a thing. It is a thing, but I don't think that you smoke it like a pipe. I'm sure somebody has tried in the history of the world. Oh, look at the ducks! River oh, of cute. the dead. The ducks oh, on the river of the dead. dead. <laughs> it should be called River of the Cute Ducks. Whoever named these things had a problem. So are yeah. we just leaving this guy? Uh, I mean, if, if we don't have the cane, that's not really going to hurt us that much. If if we don't have food, we could die. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, we also have apples still. Yeah, and I like the donkey better than I do the random dude. <laughs> <laughs> The donkey was, like, starving, so I didn't feel bad helping the donkey, but, like... He was just say he wouldn't take more than we wanted him to take, because the other guy did. Yeah. This is a really old tomb. It's so worn, I can't even read the name. We can also see if, like, that choice affects anything in the future. Yeah. Yeah. I think all the graves might say that. Maybe except for the one with the flowers. Yeah, the one with the flowers. This tomb looks worn. It reads, Joseph Fry. That's our JF. Hey, okay. the, ra the raven's back. Yeah, but this is JFK's tombstone. Ooh, that's really odd, that name. Oh, oh, shoot! It killed us. And thus our journey ends. Already? <laughs> we crossed the river of the dead. We'll We're an see. anime boy. And then? Are, are we dead or are we like... I mean, like, like this isn't game over, though. But, oh, Mr. Raven. Oh. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. We are really just Haku from Spirited Away, aren't we? That, that's what that shot had to be referenced off of. There's like an image from that movie that's just like almost exactly that. I should, ah! see, I should see that movie again. I haven't seen it since I was a kid, but we own Dude, it. I have it too. You should come watch it sometime. Or, I mean, I think we own it, so. Save so! If there's a bird, I am it. That's the rule. Oh, okay. Uh, Can I Wait, should I have a dead voice now? Like, like I don't know, change his voice? Or is he still Arnold? Is he still a man? <laughs> oh, my head. I might have fallen asleep. What would dead Arnold sound like? I probably wouldn't say much. That's what I was starting to think. It's pitch dark and I'm freezing. I should head home. See, I knew we were going to go home. I just need to follow the way back. But he's so dark. I better take this candle with me. Our heart is Dead lower. Dead was a chopper! Gratuitous Arnold Schwarzenegger references. Ew. Okay. Oh, is that chest again? I've already got a candle. There's a note. I discovered the legend of Count Lucanor on my way back home. I just couldn't get there empty-handed. Signed by... JFK. Dang, I did not know all this backstory on uh, the 34th, 35th president? I'm trying to remember the number. 
I, I'm Googling this real quick. Does it depend on whether you count that one guy twice? Hang on, JFK presidency number. 35th president of the United States. Oh, I am golden tonight. Um. Oh, oh no, the, there is a river of blood. All the, the ducks, ducks hate seem, me. The ducks seem okay. They hate us, though. They're, like, attacking. This is the blood of all those who died at war. Oh, here comes the morals, guys. Um, um, a circle of evil goats? I love it! Oh god, that one with the face! Is that the leader? This. What's happening here? Is that the goat leader to the right? He's my favorite! Look at his tongue! Oh, he's beautiful! So what happens Did they if kill goes? him? They killed him! Oh! Oh, oh this has to be a nightmare. I don't uh, maybe, remember doing this to him. Maybe we needed to feed him for him to be okay. Well, I don't know what's doing it. Or what it's doing. Nah, sorry. I don't know what it's doing, but it's really scary. <laughs> All the goats. Is the baby goat there too? Is it an evil baby goat? <gasps> it is! Oh. It's so cute! Even yeah, the baby goat is scary now! I'm just kind of like, at least they oh, aren't wait. going after us. I don't think those were tongues. I think that was blood. blood. Children named Hans will be hung from the highest tower of the village for skipping war. Oh, this is great. Oh. <laughs> Not like my name is Hans or anything. Um, um, that's lit up on its own. <laughs> maybe it's a little friend. Or maybe, maybe they'll kill us. Whichever. Or both. Let's find out. Let's set everything on fire. I can't set things on fire. My life has no meaning. Destruction. Oh. What are we noticing? I don't know. Something behind us. I don't like when things are behind me. Oh no, is someone else dead? Are oh, the ghosts they following dead? us? I, oh, I think they are. Yep. <laughs> are what following us? The goats? The goats. The goats are following us. Oh, great. Look behind us real quick. Um... I may have... Oh, gosh. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> please no, please no. So we, don't, we shoot, can't read the sign, shoot. I guess. Uh, <laughs> Get away from that nasty. Uh, the deer has the deer red eyes. People. I may be very bad at this game because I am bad with scary things. <laughs> There's... Just, just go to that area. There was something going on with that donkey up there, but I couldn't quite catch it. I know. Or is that the deer? No, it's a, it's a red eyed evil. The is evil. <laughs> red eyed bird. It's like, I'd like to just leisurely explore, but. We are being chased by evil goats. Yes. <laughs> the bad Wait. ones. Can we call them that, please? The bad ones. Good evening, most gracious sire. Welcome! Um, hello, where am I? You've entered the walls of Tenebre Castle, the fortress of the most illustrious Count Lucanor. I didn't know there was a Count living around here. He's dead. <laughs> My master has always excelled at discretion. Perhaps you have come to claim my master's legacy. He's dead. Legacy. My master, Count Lucanor, is a man of great wealth. His domain and influence span hundreds of leagues. 
However, he is dead, <laughs> afflicted by a sorrow. His days of youth are far behind. Because he's and dead. Yep. <laughs> and in all these years, he has not had a son to take his place because he is dead. Yep. Thus, he has requested, even though he is dead, me to look for a young nobleman who deserved to inherit such a fortune. Yeah, you mean this Count Lucanor has a lot of money and he's looking for someone to have it? I mean, I just turned 10 years old, but I'm a man already. Precisely. So my first thought was you had arrived with that purpose in mind. Of course. I'm a nobleman from a faraway kingdom. I've come to claim the Count's wealth. Take me to him at once, please. I admire your enthusiasm, sire. But before I take you to my master, I need to make sure you are dead. <laughs> Do you stand for the appropriate values for the role? You would not want vile noblemen, thieves, or ragged children in the, th in the throne. Would we, sire? Yeah. <laughs> Therefore, you will have to tackle a simple trial. You will need to guess my name, or you will be dead. What do you say? You will have the right to guess. You will have the night to guess it's my name. Right. <laughs> I misread it. <laughs> that was that was an act actual accident. If you are right, I will personally take you to my master, the most illustrious Count Lucanor. Uh, I wish you luck in the trial, sire. I do not want you to be dead. <laughs> now, if you will allow me, I have to leave. No! The goats will get dog. me. What a blessing. I guess his name, I'll be rich. I'm kind of a brat. Don't really care about my mother. I just want <laughs> money. And biceps! The wall is closed. I can't go out. I can see why the Arnold Schwarzenegger voice really works. Oh, can we look at the banners or? Oh. Yeah, look at every detail. Or the pillars. Maybe he's written Goblet. some graffiti and his name is on the wall somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe that was a bad suggestion, but they look like <laughs> items. Yeah, yeah. What about the goblets? No. The goblets of fire. <laughs> I was just going to say. Harry Potter! Are you <laughs> suggesting that? Did you put your these... name in the goblet of fire? Okay, now you're going to need a character with that voice. Okay, oh, we can't I, even I can interact with the net. Are we hiding? Oh no, I don't like this aspect. This means that there might be something trying to get us now. <laughs> that we might need to hide at some point. Yes! I'm going to be so bad at this game, I get scared very easily. Do we need to autosave or...? I don't... There isn't an actual save. There's load soul or continue. Oh, so when does load soul load from? I don't know. We could test it out. I don't uh, think this is a good good idea to do that. Maybe yeah. we need to continue until we get into some trouble. And then we'll find out how far back it goes, I guess. Yeah. What? I can set candles down. Pick them up. Well, that what? implies we'll need to do that at some point. Yes, but it's good to know. Oh no, we can hide. This is bad. This is bad. Why did I choose this game? Because I oh. flipped a coin. This is a sewer, but I'm not strong enough to remove the grate. Ugh, it's probably crawling with creepy clowns anyway. It's a reference to it, if either of you guys saw the new movie, which I doubt either of you did, but I did, and it was good. I've seen, you know, lots and lots of references to it, so I kind of guessed. 
So can we look at any of the stuff on the wall here, or? Uh, I don't really know where I'm going, or if I should go in any of the doors, or if anything's I... going to start following us anytime soon. Or if anything already has started following us. Yeah, I think the knights in the shining armor will probably follow us. Oh, wait, was that a hand? That was a hand. Uh -oh. There's nothing in here. Idiot! Let's uh, just stay in there for the rest of the game. Okay, sounds good to me. <laughs> the end! <laughs> I don't know. Oh, see, the credits are rolling. The credits are rolling. 